Albuquerque police calling on Walgreens to do more to prevent crimes happening in their stores. The chief saying it is costing taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars. Action 7 News reporter Andres Valle joins us live now with the letter that APD's chief sent to the company. Andres. Hey, Darlene, that's right. This three page letter basically explains to Walgreens that Albuquerque police have responded to a thousand calls since January 22 uh, at five specific locations here in Albuquerque, saying that the stores that sell alcohol have the worst issues. Albuquerque police arriving to Walgreens after store workers called 911 about a robbery. This security footage showing two people in black hoodies walking off with alcohol as store workers tried to stop them. He hits you with his hand? With the, the, the bottle on his hand, yeah. Did it hit you in the face? No, no. just the chest area. I... Did he use a weapon? No. no. One of the big recommendations we're going to make is that Walgreens finds a way to secure their alcoholic products and that they ensure that they have safeguards in place so that people cannot simply grab alcohol, walk out of the store, and get in a vehicle and uh, continue. That was Albuquerque Police Department Chief Harold Medina on Monday, demanding the company step up their security so APD can respond to more urgent calls. We caught up with the chief Tuesday morning so he could explain to us just how much this is costing taxpayers. We do estimate that the five locations mentioned in the letter accumulate for about $125,000 in taxpayer dollars to respond to those calls for service. The chief demanding that the company also hire level three security guards at their stores which are state certified security officers who have the ability to carry a firearm, but cannot make arrests. And one last thing, has Walgreens responded to your letter? No, the letter was just sent out, so I don't think they've probably had time to respond to it yet. And we did reach out to Walgreens for a comment about that letter. They did get back to us in time this afternoon. It reads in part, we will, work, we will review the letter and want to work with the police department to address these issues as the safety of our patients, customers, and team members is our top priority. Reporting in Northwest Albuquerque, Andres Valle, KWT, Action 7 News. Andres, thank you. That letter outlines five specific Walgreens on Central with the most issues. And coming up at five, Andres explains what APD plans on doing to increase safety along those areas.